What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be your personal guide as I give you the ultimate tour of downtown Winston-Salem. Let's get into the video. My name is Romolo Melli. I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty here in Winston-Salem as well as all the surrounding areas. And the reason that I wanted to make this video for you guys today is there's actually a few different reasons. A, just to show off, I think downtown Winston-Salem has an awesome vibe, an awesome scene. I think it's underrated. People don't realize how amazing, how much fun it is. B, a lot of people that are moving to the area or are thinking about coming to the area don't know what our downtown looks like. So I wanted to make this video for them. So when you come to the area or you move here, you'll know with the down you'll know what to expect with our downtown and see a lot of people think that winston salem is a sleepy bodunk poor little country sleepy town that has nothing going on so i want to make sure that we show everyone what we've got going on here in winston salem downtown winston salem has been growing for a long time but over the last five maybe six years it has changed drastically for the better it's got a thriving and very active community we've got a ton of locally owned bars breweries local restaurants we got a thriving art scene of course shopping and a ton of history. One of the things I love about downtown Winston-Salem is that just about every single weekend there's some kind of event going on. Whether it's as simple as just a regular farmer's market or a full-blown Christmas parade where they shut down all of 4th Street and people march up and down for hours. But yeah, cultural events, parades, food truck festivals, probably my favorite car shows, uh, concerts, yoga, all kinds of things, and most of it is free. But downtown Winston-Salem does cover a ton of ground. So I wanna break down the different areas of downtown Winston-Salem for you. The first thing we're gonna talk about today is gonna be Old Salem. Old Salem was founded in 1766 by Moravian settlers, and now it's a living history museum. It's dedicated to preserving the history and the culture of the original settlers of the area. It's a popular destination for history buffs and if you're interested in learning about early American life. The cool thing is that you can actually walk around Old Salem and experience what life would have been like in the 1700s. I mean, they have the original shops, the original businesses, the original restaurants. They even have people walking around in era-appropriate attire, which I think is super cool. In Old Salem, there are some things that you have to pay for, but most, most of it's free to walk around and experience and see, look, touch, feel. It's pretty awesome. They've got the doctor's house back in the day. They got Winkler's Bakery, which is famous. You should definitely stop in there. The gun shop, they got homes and churches that you can walk through. And and of course, they've got some amazing gardens there as well. You could actually pay for a guided tour through Old Salem as well. And that actually includes demonstrations of traditional crafts and trades like pottery making, weaving, and blacksmithing. Salem Square is the focal point of Old Salem. All of Old Salem is so picturesque. It's a popular destination for our photographers in the area as well. It's so picturesque. They have plenty of landscape, beautiful landscaping, mature trees. The buildings are unique. You'll never see anything like it. It's, it's really cool. In parts of the year, they actually offer a horse-drawn carriage drives through Old Salem or through downtown Winston-Salem. And they also have a pedestrian bridge, which is a really another really popular destination for photographers, prom pictures, wedding pictures, all kinds of things happen there. It's just so picturesque. Now let's talk about the Art District and Liberty Street. Liberty Street is a must for anyone that's interested in arts and culture. The Art District is home to a lot of studios and art galleries. There's also a lot of public street art and a park there. And it's surrounded by a ton of dining and shopping, so you won't miss out on that either. Art for Art's Sake is in this area. It's a Winston the Salem volunteer based organization, nonprofit organization, whose mission is to build, educate, and celebrate the community through art. They initiate and or support a ton of different events throughout downtown Winston-Salem. The cool thing is that they're all free to the public. And Art for Art's Sake is actually right next to one of my favorite local Winston-Salem downtown Winston-Salem attractions, uh, which is Artivity on the Green. It's awesome to just walk around Artivity on the Green and see what kind of murals are putting up this week or what's changed, what's new, what's different. It's got water misting towers, a band stand and the mural wall and I think it's even better at night because everything is lit up. This district also hosts a number of annual events like the River Run International Film Festival, also the Bookmarks Festival of Books and Authors. Let's also talk about Trade Street which also has a ton of art and it's kind of part, it's really close to that art district, the Liberty Street. Trade Street actually runs parallel to Liberty Street. There are a ton of locally owned bars on Trade Street so if you're looking for somewhere to have a drink that's definitely going to be, you're definitely going to find something on Trade Street. They also have a lot of unique shopping and dining on Trade Street. And they also have the Mass General Store, which is kind of a cool thing in Winston-Salem. A lot of the small southern towns have these Mass General Stores. You gotta go in there and see what they got to offer. You also have some interesting bakeries, some really good bakeries off of Trade Street. And like I said, you have a ton of dining as well. We also have Burke Street in downtown Winston-Salem, which Burke Street is more kind of for the locals. It's not really 
uh, shiny or fancy like most of the other parts of downtown Winston-Salem. So it can definitely be overlooked if you're not a local. It has its own section of downtown Winston-Salem and it feels like a smaller town's downtown i would describe it as but burke street is a staple in downtown winston salem thanks to a lot of the local businesses that have been around for decades and decades you got a locally renowned pizza shop you got burke street pizza there you also have Burke Street Pub right next to it, which is kind of like an Irish theme uh, bar, tavern. You've got a uh, really cool bar across the street and all kinds of businesses that are constantly popping up uh, on Burke Street. And not far from Burke Street, you'll also find Truist Park. And that's gonna be a minor league baseball stadium that's home to the Winston-Salem Dash. And they are a class A affiliate of the Chicago White Sox. The stadium does fit around 5,500 people. And I've been to a ton of events, not just baseball games, but they also host a ton of events. Like they had the Hispanic Festival this year. They've had all kinds of like uh, brew festivals and like company nights and you can rent out suites. They've got huge firework shows. It's a really good time anytime you go to the uh, bb and or the Truist Stadium. And Burke Street is actually technically in or really close at least to the next area that we're going to talk about, which is the West End. The West End is one of my favorite, actually probably my favorite neighborhood in all of Winsor-Salem. It's completely unique and I've never seen anything else like it in any part of the country that I've visited. It's called the West End because it's on the west end of 4th Street, and it's a neighborhood that most closely borders what we would consider downtown Winston-Salem. It's one of the oldest and most historic landmarks in Winston-Salem, and it dates all the way back to the 1800s. The cool thing is that many of the original houses are still standing today and are kept in really, really good pristine condition. But you have Queen Anne, Neoclassical Revival, Colonial Revival, Craftsman, and all other kinds of amazing, beautiful, large homes. One of the cool things about the West End is that it actually is home to its own like restaurants and shops. So they have their own like community there inside of the West End. If you're looking to experience the charm and history or architectural history, at least of Winston-Salem, uh, then you're definitely gonna love taking a stroll through what the West End. And don't worry, they got plenty of sidewalks. It is quite a bit curvy and hilly, which is kind of part of what makes it unique, but there are some amazing homes there. And the West End is a very, very tight-knit community. They have their own uh, newsletter. They all know each other. They're, they're just all always in conversation or in communication, I should say, uh, and everyone there knows each other. And because this neighborhood has been around forever, they've got varying sizes of homes all over the place. Anywhere from two-bedroom homes all the way to like seven-bedroom mansions. But take my word for it, if you're in Winston-Salem, if you got some time to kill, just hop in the car and drive around the West End or park somewhere and walk around the West End every home you're gonna look at you're gonna be like man that is amazing how do they build this especially in the 1800s now let's talk about fourth street which fourth street is kind of like the happening place to be if you're out and about and looking for something to do looking for some trouble looking for a beer or a cocktail you're probably gonna end up on fourth street but you have some of the best dining in all of Winston-Salem on 4th Street as well, as well as some unique shopping opportunities. The Stevens Center for the Performing Arts is on 4th Street in downtown Winston-Salem. It actually houses a lot of the UNCSA's performances, the students' performances there, as well as the Winston-Salem Symphony, which I'm sad to say I've not been to a Winston-Salem Symphony uh, concert yet, but I do plan to do so. So the Stevens Center, definitely a must visit if they have got a concert that you want to go check out. Marshall Park, which is a brand new project, they just finished it, is right smack in the middle or maybe not quite the middle but it's right on 4th street where all the businesses and all the restaurants are so it's really cool convenient uh, to take a walk or take a break i see a lot of the downtown employees the people that work in downtown uh they go down they, they take their breaks they're walking around some people have their lunch down there there's some seating options uh and you're nestled between a lot of the buildings so it's a really cool uh spot to visit you're actually able to see the future caladiums children's museum which is currently being built i can't wait for that to, to pop up so i can go take a tour of it and show you guys by the way that is opening February of 2024 so we're almost there. I know you guys are enjoying the tour of downtown Winston-Salem. I wanted to pop in here real quick to ask you for a favor. If you have a, a few seconds hit that like button, leave me a comment but above all subscribe. Those kinds of things keep me motivated to keep pumping out these videos for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, do not hesitate to reach out. That's literally why I am making this vi these videos for you. The number on the screen is my personal cell phone number. It goes to no one else but me. I am going to leave you some awesome links in the about section of this video in case you want to be my friend on social media or you want to see some homes that are currently available in the Winston-Salem area, maybe the downtown area of Winston-Salem. And then you also have uh, Fifth Street, which gets overlooked often and it shouldn't because even though it is a very long street, it is home to some Winston-Salem staples like the newer public library, which was opened in 2017. You've got the city bus station for those needing to take public transportation. You've got the Benton Convention Center. I've been to several events at the Benton Convention Center. Amazing time, well placed, plenty of parking. There's a parking uh, deck across the street 
here. You can take a little bridge over. So uh, very, very nice convention center. I'll, I've been to um, uh, all kinds of events there, speaking events, uh, sports events, all kinds of stuff. Also, fun fact, the Benton Convention Center is actually connected to the Marriott, which is on the other side of downtown, not the other side, but a few roads over, um, through an underground tunnel, which I've never been in, but I, and I'm, I, I've got to check it out. Someday, somehow, I'm gonna get there. And of course, you've got the Millennium Center, which is Winston-Salem's largest privately owned venue. And any kind of major event in Winston-Salem is usually held at the Millennium Center. I've been invited to weddings there, there all kinds of uh, uh, community-based uh, events, all kinds of stuff happens at the Millennium Center. It's really pretty. And we also have the Innovation Quarter, which is currently my favorite part of downtown Winston-Salem. And what it is, is essentially a research park. The Innovation Quarter is a large area and all of the buildings used to be tobacco factories, essentially. And they've all been repurposed to be these really cool, either aesthetically, you know, modern buildings or these, uh, you know, original looking things that are now awesome restaurants and shops and businesses. It's a vibrant happening place to hang out. They've got public green spaces, restaurants, coffee shops, bars, breweries, all kinds of things, everything you can imagine. And in Bailey Park, they have a lot of live outdoor events. They've got uh, yoga at Bailey Park out in the open. They've got a huge stage where you can actually see live performances in person for free. And they actually have a lot of food trucks there as well. So if you're in the area, definitely stop by Bailey Park. Everyone's friendly. Everyone's walking around and having fun, especially on days with good weather that maybe they've got their dog out there, but it is a lot of fun to check out. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and letting me take you on a tour of downtown Winston-Salem. Let me know how it compares to your downtown and your neck of the woods. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, the number on the screen is my personal cell phone number. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video.